Tyrese Maxey has had to carry the load for this team. I watched him struggle on Christmas Day versus Miami without Joel Embiid. The big fella is back. He's going to take up space. Tyrese is going to move to open spots. I got over. Legs, let's talk about uh, Jimmy Butler, who, of course, has always been so good in the playoffs. Over-under for him is 23 and a half points tonight. I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under on this, unless he shoots a ton of free throws, which is possible in a playoff game if he's getting those kind of calls. But this has just not been that typical year offensively for Jimmy Butler. And, and actually coming in, he, he's just not on a roll We're here over the last week going into this game. Uh, everybody's going to be focused defensively on making sure Jimmy Butler doesn't take over this game. So I'll take the under on that. Jimmy's got you right where he wants you. Let, let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's see if Joel Embiid has him right where he wants him. Monica, his over-under is 30 and a half. What do you think? I really waffled on this one. So what did I say when I turned in my answer? You went under. <laughs> I went under. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so my logic on under is I think the Heat obviously understand that he's going to be hugely important and the versatility of Bam Adebayo. So I think it's just shy of this number. I think it's going to be really, really close um, because he will. We anticipate him getting to the free throw line, and he's just a force. So, Cindy, will put our picks up on the screen for us here as I turn to my friend Wendy, and I ask you to repeat to everyone what you said to us on our call this morning about the 76ers. This is no seven seed. Absolutely not. And obviously, they've got to win tonight to even be the seven, but right now they're holding the seven. When Joel Embiid played this season, they were 31-8. and eight. Their, their net differential, which is what they would do over 100 possessions, was plus 10. They were a dominant team when Embiid played. No seven seed. This is an artificially deflated seed, which is why on Sunday there were teams like the Cleveland Cavaliers sheltering to try to avoid the possibility of playing a Joel Embiid-led team. His health is obviously a mystery, but even when he's come back from this knee injury, he still averaged over 30 points in those five or six games that he's played. This is not your average play in situation. This is a really strong team. Keep that in mind. Are they that dangerous, Monica? Beyond tonight, you, you, you work with the Knicks every single day. That's who's waiting for the winner of yeah. tonight's game. Yes, I do think Philly is that dangerous. Uh, in terms of that potential matchup, I think the Knicks play up. They play well to them. And then the big question, to Wendy's point, is how healthy is Joel Embiid? Frankly, he's not gotten past an, a conf conference semis in his career. He's 0-5 right. in that, that tier. So, um, but yes, they are certainly the most dangerous team in the play-in because of what he can do, because how he creates space for those other guys to operate. The tremendous coaching from Nick Nurse, who has experiences, has won championships. I like him to go to the conference finals. I'm on record as saying it. I think they're going to win this game, and they're, they're catching some breaks here. Nick's had a great year. They have a, they have a superstar on their roster, but they're missing an all-star. And then if you win that series, you potentially going to play the Pacers, who I think have a great chance to beat the Bucs. Mm -hmm. And here you go. You're the last team standing to look at Boston eye to eye. It's, it's, it's Embiid. We've talked enough about him. I think the guy that this is a stage he is built for is Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey might be the headliner coming out of this game tomorrow. What's going to happen tonight? The overcompensation you have to give Joel Embiid is going to create so many opportunities for Tyrese Maxey. I do not think the Heat defensively on the perimeter have what it takes to slow him down. I think he has a huge night and sets the stage for a deep run for Embiid because he's got that co-star that runs to the light, doesn't shrink under it. Yeah, he's had some problems in the past with that. Ben Simmons, it didn't work out. James Harden, it didn't work out. Let's see if it does with the latest in line. Tonight's NBA play-in tournament games are right here on ESPN. We've got that one, the early spot, 7 Eastern, early starting time in the 7-8 game. Then we've got the Hawks and Bulls in the 9-10 matchup. Our coverage begins with NBA countdown at 6.30 Eastern. That's tonight.